up to the YouTubes and welcome to another tutorial. Um, basically this tutorial is on an After Effects tutorial but we're going to start off in Photoshop today with a basic design and layout of the objects we're going to be animating. Now I always do my objects in Photoshop because I'm not that good in making with making objects in After Effects. So bear with me with uh, the, uh, the object making. If you can make these objects in After Effects, feel free to do so. I was inspired to do this tutorial by an intro I saw for a what is it a basically a montage editor and he had a cool intro and um, I basically decided to try to remake it after I saw it and um, it turned out pretty cool and now basically I'm just starting from scratch and you're gonna follow along with me and hopefully we're gonna be creating something cool we're gonna be starting off with setting up our page my basic page setup is as follows the width is 1920 by 1080 p and a resolution of 500 you can go with 75 or 72 whatever you want to do um, but mine just is set to 500. I don't know why, but I always set it to 500. It just works, so I'm not going to change the winning tactic. Afterwards, you just want to take your rulers out and just bring in the middle point so you can just center our objects better. After we do that, we're going to take our ellipse tool, create a new layer in our layer tabs by clicking this button. And I'm going to hide that a bit and then just click the center. And as you can see, if you drag out, not in the center so we're going to hold on alt and shift just to get our ratio a perfect ratio to circle and we're going to take it out about what is that big it's a rough representation of it and then we're going to make another circle inside it click it again shift and alt and just make a really thin circle afterwards we're just going to take this um my color picker and go to light gray i'm going to go with a gray around this area. Uh, the code is E0, E0, E0. And click OK. And then hold, uh, just switch these around. Hold on Control and, de and Delete. And it will fill the part in. Afterwards, you can see we just got a nice, clean anti aliasing circle. Very nice. It's not much, but a circle. <laughs> but we're just going to carry on with this tutorial. Afterwards, you just want to create a little arc at the top or arch at the top, sorry. And it's basically going to be very simple. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take our what tool is this? The poly lasso tool. Create a new layer. And from the model, just click in the middle point and just drag our tool around there and just click at the top and close it off. What I did there was basically to eliminate all the rest of the area. So, I'm just going to fill in this area and then duplicate it. So once I've done that, I'm going to hit Control and delete again. And then afterwards, I'm just going to lighten the opacity. And I'm just going to zoom in here and take the ellipse tool, the elliptical marquee tool, and then just drag out from the center again, holding your two buttons, Shift and Alt. Just drag out and then delete just the area around there. I'm going to delete that and then do it again but just a bit out here. Then I'm going to hit Control, Shift and I to duplicate, or sorry, to in invert the section and then hit Delete. So now I've created a cool arc and I'm just going to pop the opacity up. Now I'm going to just duplicate it, just duplicate the layer, go up to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. After we're just going to bring it to the center just so it joins up very nicely. Then you can just merge these two layers by holding control, selecting each one, right clicking and going to merge layers. So now that we've done over there, we're just going to basically cut this into two. So we're going to merge these layers as well. Take your rectangular marquee, marquee, highlight the bottom area of it, hit delete. And then we're going to duplicate this layer afterwards. Edit, transform, vertical flip. And then we're just going to bring this down and we are sorted. This just brings it and just makes it look a bit more high tech and at the end it looks it looks like a good finished product. So now that we have actually made some progress I'm just gonna put in some spokes inside but before we do this I'm just gonna take away my rulers by hitting control and the semicolon button and we're gonna add in our spokes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create just a I'm just going to take my rectangular multi tool and just create a thin, really thin line about that big. I don't know if that's, if that's even going to work, but let me zoom in and find that. Oh, okay, it actually is one pixel, so we should be sorted. 
and I'm just gonna hit Control and D to fill in the new layer and then I'm just gonna bring this into the center it should snap on yep as you can see I move my mouse and it doesn't move too much just don't move it too much and that's gonna just gonna help us a lot because we're just gonna duplicate that go to your move tool and show control panel um, transform uh, control sorry then you're gonna go to the corner you're gonna find the corner as you can see these change very fast so just find the corner and just rotate this by five Sorry, you're just going to change that to 30. So now, um, instead of doing 5, just rotate it by 30. And then I'm just going to carry on going around and then I'm going to come back to this and we're going to carry on. So now that I've just done that, just to make life a bit simpler and speed up the show, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take our ellipse tool again, go hit control and semicolon button to just bring back our rulers. From the middle, we're just going to drag out again, just go to the edges of the circle. And then hit Control Shift and I to invert the layer. And then what I forgot to do is just merge all of these layers. And then I'm just going to hit Delete now. And it's going to delete the outer part of the layer. So now that I've done that, I uh, basically have a cool inner part there that's going to work pretty well when I do my animation. And I'm just going to just drop the opacity down a bit to about that much. Let's say 40 just to clear it up. Now after I've done that, you're going to spice up the circle again by adding another circle inside and we're just going to do inner layers of, of circles in that and just cut it off afterwards. You'll see what I'm going to do right now. So to start this off, ellipse tool again, create a new layer. From the middle we're just going to make it about just to bring on the edges a bit more and it'll work about that big. So what we're going to do Sorry, sorry, just gonna make it thinner, way thinner actually. And that should work well. And just fold that up. Now as you can see, we're gonna do this a simple way that I've tried tried a long time ago that's just much faster and a lot more um, just kills a little more time. So we're just gonna duplicate this. Just bring this in a bit and that should be about fine and we're just going to carry on duplicating these and just fill this up just random amounts just so it gets filled up and then we're going to cut it afterwards so i'm going to carry on doing that and just just to speed up this show quick so now that i've done you can see that it's just not even a bit, but that's pretty cool, it's fine, it's, it doesn't matter, it wouldn't affect anything. It'll just look, because that's just basically going to be cut off at the, anyway. So what we're going to do is basically, we're going to take the layers that we use for the inner circles, just highlight all of them, go do your, to your move tool, or your select tool, and hit these. These two are basically very key, it centers out the parts, and make sure there isn't like any gaps in them or anything like that, to basically... Um, misalign the thing, the object. Sorry. So we're just gonna hit these to center them, and then group them by hitting Control and G. Once that is done, it's easier to move because it's in one group. So now that we've done with that, I'm just gonna merge these. As you can see, now it's all pretty much lined up except for this part, which we're not gonna be needing anyway. And I'm just gonna click the middle by hitting, just bringing my rulers in again hit the middle, just try to follow the spoke, uh, go all the way here, follow the spoke as well and bring it to the center, hit Control shift and I to invert the layer, D section sorry and hit delete. Now that that's done, basically we have our spoke that's inside here and it's not going to basically interrupt anything else and it's all pretty much lined up. And now, what I was very stupid about when I was just doing this tutorial right now was when I deleted this, I also deleted the outer part of it. Now basically, you want the outer part as well. So you're just going to make another one very simply. And I'm just going to, same process all over again. It's basically very simple stuff, guys.
So as you can see, we're pretty much done with that. And by the looks of it, it's, it's looking pretty high tech right now. Not the best that I've actually seen, but uh, it'll do. So now that that's done, we are going to take this stuff here into After Effects, and then in our second part, I'm going to show you how to animate it on and make a cool like logo kind of thing. And um, yeah, it's going to work out pretty cool. But uh, last but not least, we're just going to make two target alignments. So I'm just going to make a one more layer, take a rectangular tool again, you know, this same process. And I'm going to just fill this in. I'm going to end up cutting this one down just a bit smaller. And basically, where is my layer again? Yeah. I'm just going to cut this one down to about, let's say, take that much out, align this up again. This alignment tool is really good, saves so much of time. And we're just going to make one more, and just rotate this by 90 degrees. We're not going to merge those, we're just going to group them because we're just going to take this entire PSD file and just bring it into After Effects. So thank you for supporting us guys. Um, the support is actually really good. Um, we're doing quite well. We always start off, everybody starts off with zero subscribers at one point and now we're just above 1.5k, uh, which is um, really, really good for us. So I'd like to thank you for your support and um, please comment, like and subscribe.